Now in this question, two center of circle is given to be 5, 3, radius 8, negative 7, negative 2, radius 6. So what I need to do, first step will be to find out the distance between these two points. So I use the equation y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. So mental maths, it adds up to be 169. So square 169 is 13. So next thing, I will find out the sum of the two radius, 14. It's not the same as the distance, so I will find out the difference between the radius. And I find out that the distance is in between the sum of radius and the difference of radius, so that I know that we have a common chord, right? So if we have a common chord, what I need to do next is to find out what's the common chord equation. So all I need to do is to expand this equation when I put into this uh, equation of circle, and then uh, expand it, and then subtract both equations. So I'm going to show you now. Now what I would advise you to do is actually you may pause this video and try to do it yourself on a piece of paper. And then you verify your answer with mine here. So this is how it looks like. When I expand these two equations, the x squared will be removed and you should realize there's no xy term. They will not have xy term for equation of circles. So when I subtract these two equations, this is what I will get. I get a linear line because it's going to have common chord. Then rearrange it so that I will get y equals to mx plus c format. Now, uh, what comes next would be to actually find out, okay, what is the intersection point. So I need to substitute this equation into the first equation or the second one, whichever that's easier. I mean, exponent number. Then I use a calculator and solve for x value. So make sure you know how to use a calculator, your scientific calculator, to look for the x value, right? A, B, C value. You solve it, and there you go. I find out what's the x1 and x2 value. The next thing I need to do is substitute back into the equation, the linear line equation, to find the y value. Now, how do I know it's correct? I use a grapher from MacBook, key in the equations using grapher, and then all I need to do is click at the intersection point to check the answer here, compare this answer down here with my answer. I hope this video helps you and uh, you find it useful, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.